How shall we make proper use of the two-post vehicle lift? Safety accidents are always heard of, but they could be maximally avoided if the users are trained with proper knowledge of using the lift. Turn on the power switch and do the following inspections before raising. All push buttons should be hold to run control. Carriages at both sides shall run synchronously to ensure no tilting. Swing arm locks can engage automatically. Rubber support pads must be undamaged and anti-skidding. The wire rope shall not have rust or breakage. The mechanical locking device must be efficient and effective. No leakage occurs at the hoses and fittings. Raise the lift only after the above inspections are done. Park the vehicle in middle of two columns. Usually, place the shorter arm under the front part of the vehicle as it is often heavier than the rear part. Position the support pads only at the pickup points recommended by vehicle manufacturers. When it is necessary, you have to read the manuals to make sure the exact pickup points. Pull swing arms and ensure support pads are under the exact pickup points. Adjust the height of support pads to make them attach to the pickup points. For vehicle with higher chassis, extra height adapters are required. Check the vehicle after raising a short distance to ensure that it is correctly and safely positioned. Check the swing arm locks to ensure they are engaged. If anything abnormal occurs, lower the vehicle to make proper adjustment again. Raise the vehicle to the height expected after all unsafe possibilities are excluded. In order to guard against unexpected collapse due to hydraulic breakage, push the lock button to engage mechanical locking device Turn off the power switch and work under the lifted vehicle. Ensure that all personnel and objects are kept clear before lowering. Turn on the power switch and push the down button to lower the vehicle onto the ground. Pull all four swing arms out to provide an unobstructed exit and drive the vehicle away from the lift area.